In this Blender beginner's tutorial I will show you how to create a very simple glitter ball. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Remove this banner by hitting return on your keyboard. The first thing we're going to do is actually remove this cube. So just press X on your keyboard and then left click on delete. Now hold down shift followed by A and next to mesh left click on UV sphere. Roll your middle mouse to zoom in. Now I want to increase the faces of this um, sphere. So to change the faces just come down to the bottom left of the screen and left click on the little arrow next to add UV sphere. Now I'm going to left click in the box that says 32 and I'm going to type in 48. In the box that says 16 I'm going to left click and type in 24. So that's increased the number of faces that I've got. Press 1 on your numbers pad to go into front view and then press tab to go into edit mode. To the top left of the screen next to view there's a little box with a highlighted square. This is your face select button. Left click this. And then look for the button that says face. Left click this. And then left click extrude individual faces. Move your mouse to drag these out and then hit your right mouse button. Hold down control followed by I to invert your selection and then press X on your keyboard and left click only faces. Press Z on your keyboard and then left click wireframe. Now you're going to have to get used to using your middle mouse to zoom in and out and also shift in your middle mouse to move your view around. Okay. Now I'm going to Roll my middle mouse to zoom in so I've got a reasonable view. What you're looking at, or what you're looking for, is the little dots. These are in the middle of each individual face. So if you place your pointer away from the sphere and press B, this brings up a box select. And place your box select over the first row of dots below the red line. Hold down your left mouse button draw a sort of box over the first ring. This will select this sort of ring of faces. Press B again and do the same. Unfortunately this is boring but it's the only way you can do it that I know of. I'm going to hold shift to my middle mouse and drag this up and B again to do this as quickly as I can. B again. So that's got that sort of those selected every other row or ring. Okay, let's do the top.
Now, the very top set of rings are, are, are difficult to select like this. So I'm going to roll my middle mouse out, press 7 on my numbers pad to go into top view, Z, and then left click solid. Roll your middle mouse again and place your pointer in the middle and press C. And roll your mouse, but don't roll it too much. You don't want to cover the two um, set of uh, faces or rings of faces and just left click. Then right click to accept. Press 1 on your numbers pad to go into front view. Roll your middle mouse and reposition your view using shift and your middle mouse. OK. Now we're going to rotate the selected faces on the Z or Z axis. Let's do this. Press R followed by Z and then move your mouse carefully so that you stagger the faces. Then left click. Press tab on your keyboard to come into object mode. Look for the little wrench. This is a modifiers button. Left click on this. Left click add modifier. And then left click solidify. Now in the box it says thickness. Left click on the little arrow to the left. Till you've got something like minus 0 0.02 and hit apply. To the very top of the screen underneath scene, you'll see a little arrow. Left click on this, it says shading. And at present, you can't see anything because I forgot something. What you need to do, sorry, stop. I'll just change something a minute. Press Z on your keyboard and then left click on Look Dev. And again, go up to the shading and left click on the globe. And you should see one that looks like a room. Left click on this. Look for the materials button. This is a sort of red world. Left click on this. Left click new. And it, where it says principled BSDF, left click. And again, left click on glossy. Or uh, well, left click on glossy BSDF. And this will happen. And now if you, you can change your roughness to whatever amount you want. You can take it right down to nothing if you want. And top of the screen, if you just left click on the show um, overlays, get rid of your overlays, hit zero on your keyboard, press N left click on view and left click lock camera to view hit N again you can roll your mouse to zoom in hold down shift in your middle mouse to get yourself a view that you're happy with then come up to render sorry come up to view left click on view and left click viewport render image and you'll end up with something that looks like this. All you need to do now is left click on image, save as, I'm going to save it to my desktop, give it a title, Left click on save as image twice and you should find a 
you've got a simple image of a glitter ball. Won't go to anything else. Hopefully, this helps somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.